Consider the following undirected graph G. Choose a value of x that will maximize the number of minimum weight spanning trees of G. The number of minimum weight spanning trees of G for the value of x is. So in this question we have been given this particular graph in which the value of x is unknown. We need to give x some particular value and find out the number of minimum weight spanning trees. And the question they are asking is for what value of x this number of minimum weight spanning trees will be maximum and what that maximum value will be. So we will try by assigning x value starting from 1. Let us assume x equal to 1. In that case, we need to construct the spanning tree. So by Kruskal's algorithm, what we will do is we will choose the edge with the smallest weight here. So that will be this edge. And the next would be this one. So both would be chosen. This, these are connecting different vertices. And next we will choose this edge starting with 3. And only this node will be, node is remaining now. Now there are two edges possible here. These two are having values 4. Whichever we choose, the minimum weight will be the same. Meaning that we can choose any of these two. I.e. we will get two different graphs based on which edge we are choosing. That is in this case there will be two graphs possible. Let us try by making it two. Then also we will be getting the same graph. We will be choosing one and the second smallest will be this one. We will be choosing this edge. And then we will be choosing three. Again only in this edge we have to determine which edge we need to use. So we have two graphs possible here based on the edge we are choosing. And when we are choosing 3 also, we will be getting the same graph. This is 1, this will be 3, this will be 3, these two we are choosing. And these two are any we can choose. We are getting the same graph. There are two possibilities here. Now, let us try assigning 4. In this case, this will be, this edge we will be choosing, it is 1. The second smallest is this edge, it will be 3. And then, we have to connect this node. We have two options. We can choose either 4 or 5. 4 is the smallest one. We will be choosing 4 here. And then for this node, again, we can choose one of these two. It's again the same graph. We have only two possibilities. Now we are getting some idea here. Only for this node, if we can introduce some non-determinism between this and this, we, if we giving an option here, maybe we'll get more graph. We'll try with 5 here. So when x is 5, we'll be choosing this one. That is the smallest. We take one. Next second smallest is 3. We choose this. And then coming the smallest will be 4. We can choose either one of these two and that will connect this node. After that we don't have to choose the other node even though 4 is the next smallest value. We don't need it because it is connecting only the same nodes which is already there in the graph. Now we coming to this node and this node we have two options here 5 and 5. Again we can choose any one of these two meaning that for this node we can choose any one of these two which gives two options. For this node also we can choose any one of these two, gives two options. So the total will be 2 into 2 equals 4. Now if you try with x values greater than that, if I give 6, I will only be choosing the node with value 5 instead of 6. So increasing the value, I won't be getting multiple spanning trees. So the answer is 4 when x is 5.